Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we are going to fix a very common error which is Windows Update Error on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So you've been trying to update your Windows and you're getting uh, 0x sort of errors. You have tried so many things and you are not update, I mean you're not able to update your Windows. This tutorial is for you. So here we are going to do very simple yet very effective steps and please make sure that you uh, do all these steps in a sequence wise because when we do these steps in a sequence wise it becomes more effective. So the very first step is to search in the search icon explorer and you will find file, file explorer and I'll just maximize it and at the left hand side where we have this PC so please click on that and then we need to go to this C drive now here in C drive we need to go to this Windows folder and here in Windows you need to scroll down and you will find a folder name software distribution so I have found it software distribution you just need to double click here and delete everything from here because this is a uh, whenever we update windows it leaves some junks here and you no longer require these once your system is updated so from here you can press ctrl a and you can press shift delete so it says it's going to delete and i have successfully removed everything from software distribution and once this is done close this window now the second step is to click on the search icon again and type troubleshoot you might have done it but we have to do it in a sequence wise so here the best match is troubleshoot settings and i'll click on that and here we have find other troubleshooters and you will find the most frequent option windows update and we need to click on next to it just click on run it will start detecting the problems if you have any windows update issues this might take some time maybe one minute or two minutes or more than that depends on your computer this will work on windows 10 and windows 11 both so you don't have to worry about it once this is done you need to restart the computer right so once this is done once you come back Click on the search icon and type CMD and you will find the best match command prompt and here we need to click on run as administrator. Please make sure you do not click on open, you click on run as administrator and then click on yes. And here we need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. So this is a system file checker tool provided by Microsoft. This actually scans the whole computer and if there is a issue with the windows, if there is a bug, if there is a problem, this will fix the problem. It is a very good step to fix. I mean, very handy thing to do so. So I have typed it, you can note it down, sf forward slash scan now and hit enter. This will begin the system scan and this procedure might take two to five minutes or more than that depends on your computer. Once this is done, if there is a bug, there is a problem in Windows operating system, this will be fixed and then you need to restart the computer. Now the final step which we need to follow is to click on the uh, start icon and then just click on run and here you need to type services.msc. Once you have typed it, click on OK. And a new window will appear like this. And you need to scroll down at the bottom where you have Windows Update. You can press W and then you can look for Windows Update. You will find it at the bottom. I have found it. So here I have Windows Update. You just need to double click on that. And please make sure it is started. I can see it is the start is grayed out because it is already running so if in your case if it's not running please start it and it should be grayed out and startup type should be automatic or delete start it should not be manual it should not be disabled so it should be any of these automatic delete start or automatic once this is done you can click on ok and you can do a right click and you can restart as well so restarting the service is a good practice and you have also made this service automatic. 
So once this is done, here you need to go to this background intelligence transfer service. See if it's manual or automatic. You just need to do a right click and you can start it and make it automatic as well. So these are the only steps which you need to follow and then you need to type Windows Update and you need to go to this Windows Update settings and try to update your Windows and you will be able to install all the latest updates of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you will be able to update your Windows. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Guys, please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment that uh, which step has worked for you and also let me know whether it is um, beneficiary, I mean, beneficial for you or not. Have you got benefited or not? Please let me know because this thing, these things really motivates me to make more tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care.